All right, guys, so today is one of my very favorite techniques. I'll probably use this more than I use my other techniques. It sells every single time, even though you might not be selling photography like I sell photography, but it can still make you look really, really good, and you know you want to look good. It's a technique that I call relative size. Relative size. Interesting, right? Uh, the theory behind it in about two seconds is that the further you get away from an object, the smaller it gets. Shocker, isn't it? <laughs> but that's the, that is the science behind this technique. So for example, let's just say that someone comes up to you and says, I'd love to get a picture of me and my rig together. And what's the first thing they do? They walk right over by their rig and they stand there for the picture and you get this. Here I am. Oh, this is less than stellar. This does not sell very well. So you can use, you can scoot far away and leave your subject here and it's gonna look like this. Look how small I am. Can you see me over here? You can see the ring, but you can't see me. There is a solution. That is, you move your subject, you move your subject way far away from your rig and look what's happened. You can see my rig in the background and look how close I am. This is the technique of relative size. Just an example here. I'm kind of cut off, but you get what I'm saying. So this is it. So as we move out, the camper gets smaller. I get bigger. And let me give you a warning. People are gonna think that you're absolutely crazy. So every single time they're gonna go, yeah, but I want one by my RV, or I want one by my car, or I'd like to get one by the sign to the state park. And then you go, okay, come with me. And you start walking way far away from it. And they're like, I said I wanted one by the sign. And you're like, just wait, just wait. You're gonna find out because you now know the secret. It's that simple. So now all you have to do is go get your camera, walk away from the large object behind you. Oh, what did you say? Oh, sure, okay. Some of the things that I've used this technique on professionally is I do a lot of cars this way. So if they want a picture of their car, I'll bring them out way far away from the car. Okay, I guess you've got that point already. I've done billboards where people are on billboards and they want a picture of them on the billboard. That could be challenging since it's way up in the sky, but now you know what to do. Simplicity, 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 simplicity. That's what it's all about. And just remember, simple ideas can only come from a complex mind. So that's it. Oh, wait. Yeah. I was going to give you the three, let's see, the proof, where am I? Right there. The three proven posing shots here. So when we finish, you're gonna have four and this will be very quick and away we go. And don't forget, relative size. Oh, and I want you to comment below. I want you to go get your camera, comment below, and I want you to tell me how awesome your shots are doing this. You're going to love it. People are gonna love you for it. Okay, so check it out. Here is professional pose number one. Let them hang out in the truck. It's a great shot, it sells every single time. And the best way to do is instead of going like this when you're to the side, like that, which is crazy, you move their bodies this way. And if it's a girl, you can bring your hands together like this, which is awesome, and look out. Or you can pile your kids in the window or whoever. It's always a good shot. And a little extra for you here is it also has framing. Anything that frames around, that's part of it. So the framing is very powerful, but this is a really, really good shot. And if it's a guy, usually I'll lean them forward like this so I can separate out their hands and they can look like a stud like they are. But usually I get them a turn just a little bit like this. Number one, it's gonna make you look good. So here it is, pose number two. This always sells. This is always usually a guy's photograph. And so I can squat them down like so. And use in general, what you do is you don't put their knees toward the camera and see how my front knee is lower than my
Notice how my, this knee is lower than this knee. This is the pose. It sells every single time. Usually done with a wider angle lens. Down low catches their wheel, their bumper. People love this. But remember how I'm doing this with my hands and my legs because a lot of people, you ask them to squat and they do this. Okay, I'm squatting. <laughs> and then you just ask them to lower their right knee down. And then you get this because it come in. It is so good people love this picture and there's also opportunity here too actually they actually can come in and usually i tuck this leg in like this and i always never leave this hanging like a cow udder. that's what it's called i usually bring this hand back in like so this is always a good shot sells every time and again people are going to be bragging on you about this <laughs> number two okay so hope you can hear me Tell me if you can, I have a new microphone. I'm not sure exactly what's happening here. But this is number three, the best pose ever. So basically you want the emblem right in the middle of the emblem, right here. I try to cover up a little bit of that license plate. I usually get them over like so. And then it gives a sweet balance on both sides. It sells every single time. And just a little tidbit here, usually if you're gonna see how my camera is actually at a low camera angle. Yeah, anything that you shoot that's full should be really, really low. Usually not with this much perspective distortion, but I'm afraid if I move back, my microphone's not gonna work. So anyway, this is the pose right here. Sometimes I can get them to move their hands, like guys to move their hands across like this. Anytime you can move a guy's hands wide apart, it's better and you end up getting this in front of their truck they love it you'll love it you'll love them talking about you so number three in front of the truck i know you guys got a lot out of this video and the most important thing to do is how i usually do is when i get a technique i write it down into a notebook and i take it with me i love teaching technique it's so easy to do but someone's got to tell you it's much like playing the piano yeah if you don't know you don't know but the most important thing to do is once that you've shot it correctly just do what i call tear sheets and just get an image and put it into a file and name it relative size or posing by a truck or whatever and then right before you go shoot you pull it out and you be very deliberate luck has nothing to do with photography and i've got a question for you and i would like for you to write in the comments who shoots more film amateurs or professionals <laughs> interesting interesting concept so i'm going to be putting more of these out instantaneous photo tips to increase your skill to make you look better and that's what it's all about right <laughs> so make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that bell and every time i put one of these out you're going to get a ringy dingy notification and you're going to get it awesome and you're going to get some and you're going to see your photo skills improve and improve over and over and over and remember photo is a skill okay until the next video thanks so much we'll check you